The contested case over a proposed water bottling plant near Creston continues. The issue is over a decision to grant a water use permit to the Montana Artisan Water Company. MTN's Nicole Miller has been following this case all week and brings us the latest developments. Groundwater hydrologist Attila Folnagy testified Wednesday. He oversaw and validated that water testing requirements were met in the company's quest to open the plant near Creston. Though law requires application forms be filled out completely, there were numerous items left out, like the depth of the well. But Folnagy says that information wasn't important and determined there would be no adverse effects to leaving it out. That information is required to ensure the reliability and the accuracy of the aquifer tests um, that are conducted to show the legal availability of uh, water in these cases. Um, and so it, it's not an optional criteria to include the dimensions of the well, um, the depth of the perforated zones. Um, those are required information under the law. You know, th there's been a lot of talk about this Form 633. Uh, and the fact that it's not completed and that it's not in complete compliance with, uh, with regulatory code, with the ARM. Uh, I think what you're hearing from the experts that use those, those forms, use that data, says it's, it's inconsequential to the actual analysis. He didn't need the information that was lacking on those forms to complete the necessary analysis. Expert testimony will continue Thursday with applicant of the permit and owner of the Montana Artesian Water Company, Lou Weaver expected to take the stand. Reporting in Kalispell, Nicole Miller, MTN News. The hearing continues today and is open to the public.